tell us just a, a brief synopsis of the B2, B6 paradox. And I think you have a reference, uh, a paper that we should all be reading as well. <laughs> yes, it's actually called the B6 paradox and it was done in cell culture and I found it. So I did a teaching on the B vitamins for ILADS and I thought, oh, well, I'm going to teach on all the vitamins. And boy, was that, um, that was an overreach <laughs> because um, just my hour and a half lecture on B vitamins, I probably spent 40 hours creating it. Um, and I found the B6 paradox. You know, the thing is, is why does B12 or B6, excuse me, um, toxicity have the same symptoms as deficiency? And this paper explains in cell culture, they saw that pyridoxine or it competes for an enzyme that competes to get it into pyridoxine 5-phosphate. So if you give the non-methylated pyridoxine that the enzyme can be competed for and actually cause the cell to die. 